Hi guys, thanks for joining me on my channel today. This is my first video since having my mastectomy for my breast cancer. So I may be a little bit fragile in my movements and things like that, so we'll see how we go. But in today's video, I'm wanting to do a get ready with me, a full face get ready with me with some makeup I have been accumulating. I have bought a couple of things since my last beauty haul, lying, convalescing with internet is not conducive to anyone with boredom who has lots of sales going on around them, so I have accumulated a few things and I will use them today. So without further ado, let's get into this makeup look and using new makeup and see how we go today. Welcome and thanks for joining me today. My name is Ange. I like to share all things beauty and lifestyle aimed at the more mature woman. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I have just had a mastectomy after being diagnosed with breast cancer. So I am a little bit tender today. I'm going to see how this one video goes as I'm not sure but I'd like to get a couple more filmed before I start chemo in a couple of weeks. I have a couple of friends with me today. I have this lovely little wee pillow that some beautiful volunteers at the Cancer Care Centre make which is awesome to pop under my armpit and just relieve any pressure from my underarm area as I had quite a few lymph nodes removed as well. They took uh, 29 lymph nodes, four of which tested positive for cancer. They found a 10 centimetre mass that they have done all the histology. There was a 10 centimetre mass of cancer that was actually made up of several tumours. So it had been there for a little while. But the surgeon is confident that all has been removed and that she had enough clearance with everything to hopefully ensure that everything was taken. I am then going to start in a couple of weeks with... Um, chemotherapy then I will be doing radiotherapy and then immunotherapy so it's going to be most of next year but I am more than happy to do all of that treatment if it means that I have a much better chance of this not coming back and kicking me in the backside again so I am prepared to do whatever it takes to stay healthy and stay here so that's the update of what's been happening I also have another wee friend I do have a little baggie here as I've still got drains in from surgery as well which is being removed in two more days and then I'll be going back in to the clinic twice a week to have it drained manually so lots of things happening lots and lots of medical appointments but we're on the right side of it at the moment and we're just going to go forward okay so I have got lots of new things to try and I hope I am not restricted in my movements so let's get started one of the biggest items that I purchased recently and something I had my eye on for a little while is a brush set from Morphe and this is the Morphe and Ariel brush set so we will be using that today. Everything else I will just introduce as I am going to use it. And here's the first thing, my temperature levels 
go up and down I'm either freezing or I'm absolutely roasting so I can't keep up with it so we've just gone hot all of a sudden okay I have my milk hydro grip primer which I actually don't mind I actually do quite like it I'm still not sure if it is better or less better than the two that I really like which is the Tarte which is the Tarcha silk canvas and the one size beauty magnet secure the blur primer but this is really nice as far as the tackiness and just really good foundation for adding foundation I'm going to use today my Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. Now I did say in a recent reviews video that it's okay, I don't love it because the longevity isn't there for me. Might be a little bit light for me too at the minute, but we will. Get that going. Blend that in with my beauty blender. It is really nice on the skin as far as lightness goes. I haven't been wearing makeup for a little while, so I'm just going to add my Becca Under Eye Primer. And you guys have been giving me some really good suggestions of some to try, so. I will hunt those down and try them because this is my last tub of this under eye primer. Okay, add a little bit more of <clears throat> that foundation. It actually looks really nice on the skin when I first apply it and when I've done my makeup it just doesn't have the same longevity as some of my more long wearing and matte foundations really pouring with rain today and my hair has gone really frizzy and fluffy today I'm getting it all chopped off tomorrow um, I've decided if I'm going to lose my hair I'd rather lose it if it's really short rather than long lengths of it so it's all coming off tomorrow before I start my chemo so if I was to like a more luminous foundation this is actually really nice but for me this luminosity translates as oily for me so I would definitely be powdering it down. Now I've just got a new concealer that I haven't tried. I'm hoping it's not too light, but I've picked up the Kosas Revealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. And I got mine in the shade 04N. But I have been hearing really good things about this. So I'm just going to I am going to put a little bit extra on because I am really shadowy under my eyes at the moment since surgery. I would have to say I think the anesthesia might be really tough on the old bod. I um, was in a lot of pain straight after surgery but they really looked after me and since then I've been able to really manage the pain and it's not been too bad so I'm quite been really lucky how well I think I've been feeling I do know I can't do too much I get very tired very easily but I'm very grateful for an amazing 
workplace where I don't need to stress about my work. They've been amazing. And we go into school holidays from tomorrow. So I have my six week summer break. A great time to be recuperating. Hmm, I don't mind that. It is a very hydrating concealer. Might just add a little bit more. Probably not as full coverage as the Pat McGrath concealer. Let's do a little bit there as well. As it feels very hydrating. I'm just adding a little bit more because I do feel quite dark under the eyes and tired looking. I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit in Universe and take this powder here just for under the eyes and I was going to open up these brushes wasn't I? Haven't even looked at them. These come in, in and out of stock quite a lot. Like I'll look at them one day and go back to look at them the following day and they'll be out of stock and they just seem to come in and out of stock quite frequently. Okay, so it comes in a really nice box with Ariel's logo. Oh, very nice. And that is the brushes there. It does have a sponge, but I like using one sponge at a time until it loses its luster and then I'll use another one another time. So I'm going to leave that in there. Let's go in with this brush here. The A3.2 and I'll use that in the Hourglass palette to sit under the eyes. And I may have left that too long to do so. It's very creamy. That concealer. Beautiful soft brush. So I think for all of those brushes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven brushes for a hundred and fifty-two New Zealand dollars plus you get a sponge. Now a new powder that I have recently purchased, I have heard lots of good things about this from you guys and decided to give it a go and it's the Nakia Joy Cosmetics Powder. Now she has very oily skin and I probably should have tried this sooner because it is a velvet finishing powder and that's it there. It's a very sweet smell. Okay, so I've just shaken that. Now I've got a sponge here that can be used wet or dry and it's by Real Techniques and it's like a really velvety feeling sponge. And its purpose is for powder. And if you want a more luminous set you can dampen the sponge or if you're wanting a more matte finish you use it dry and I've just used it a couple of times it's definitely matted taking the shine if you can see the difference between the forehead and the rest of my face this smells like cocoa, Milo. If you are from New Zealand, Australia, it smells like Milo or drinking chocolate, something like that. Very sweet smell. 
reminds me of when I've been doing baking. I've never come across a smell like that before. But that has definitely mattified the skin down. And I've done it. I'm not really thinking today, guys. I've really botch that up because I have got a contour I want to use as well and it's a cream contour but we'll give it a go see how it goes shall we yes we shall I'm just going to use the Mario brow setting gel and pop that in my brows I need it dry before I go in with a powder I've got lots of little goodies. I got a parcel the yesterday or the day before yesterday from an organisation in New Zealand and I believe they're in Australia as well called Look Good Feel Better and it is aimed at helping women with breast cancer especially, oh I think it's any cancer I think it's any cancer and you've gone through chemo and you've lost your hair and they do these wonderful workshops for women to learn how to apply makeup and just to help themselves feel a little bit better about themselves and they sent me a lovely beautiful parcel of goodies so some of those goodies i am going to use today something i showed you in my last video that i bought with my vanity makeup eyeshadow palette were the vanity makeup contour brushes and in the look good feel better package i got this cream contour kit from covergirl so it's got contour and bronzer in it my nails are an absolute shocking mess at the moment because I had to take my acrylics off for surgery. I wasn't allowed them on and I cannot have them on through chemo as well due to the risk of infection. So for Christmas Day I have bought some Kiss Impress nails because I can stick them on with little adhesive tabs and remove them again and use them several times so I've purchased them for when I need to pick me up with my nails because I can't get my false nails at the moment and of course they're in a right little state at the moment. Okay so this little palette from Covergirl comes with a highlighter, a contour and a bronzer and I'm going to use the contour shade and taking the nose contour brush and the thin brush end I am going to I'm really discombobulated today but that's okay okay take a mirror and I'm going to I probably shouldn't have set my face with powder but that's alright we're going to draw a line down our nose going up into our eyebrow Coming down to the tip of my nose, putting it into a little V at the bottom. And we take the blending side and I'm just going to blend that in. And this is a really densely packed brush and just makes the blending really easy and would have been a lot easier if I hadn't have set my face with powder first but that's okay 
Then I'm going to take the same contour shade and with the slim end of the face brush I'm just going to take it down my face just a little bit here and a little bit there and then taking the fluffier side of the brush I'm just going to blend that in once again would have been easier to blend if I hadn't of set my face with powder would have been a disaster if I had dry skin but I don't I have oily skin so I'm going to go in with my Dior brow pencil and I'll just quickly do something with my brows Okay, another product that I got in my Look Good Feel Better package was a beautiful bronzer by Estee Lauder, the Bronze Goddess in O2 Medium. Maybe a little bit dark, I'm not sure. It's got a bit of shimmer in it. Let's give it a go. These brushes are just stunning. Okay, I'm going to go in with this brush from the Aerial brushes the A58 oh, it's quite powdery this might be a bit warm for me but we'll give it a go be nice in the middle of summer I think it's got a ready tone to it I really quite like bronzers with a ready tone for my complexion probably a little bit too red right at the minute but with the blush I'm going to go in next it might tone in beautifully gosh these brushes feel beautiful I do really like the color of that and I think it's going to take me an age to get through that so that was gratefully gratefully accepted after I alluded to in my last review video I was really enjoying the Natasha Denona Glam Light Face Palette that I placed in order for the deep now I am planning on using this palette in conjunction with the light and mixing and matching because I think maybe it could be a little bit on the deep side if I was to use just this but I think they're going to pair beautifully together and I am going to try this blush and I'm going to go in with mm. now I did find when I used the light palette that the sponge just gave it a far more oomph then straight off the bat rather than building it up with a brush and same can be said for that one so I might need to tone it down and I'm going to be avoiding the sun this summer because one of the risks I have after surgery is lymphedema now that my lymph nodes have all been removed I have a risk of my arm really blowing up because I don't have lymphatic drainage there anymore and I have to avoid sunburn scratches cuts anything because I don't have that body mechanism 
that kicks in to protect you anymore so I'm going to be really avoiding the sun in fact I think what we might need to go and get very very soon is a outdoor umbrella so that we can enjoy, enjoy the outdoors but sit under umbrella okay so that blush is beautiful it is a lot deeper and I have toned it down but I can definitely make it work on my light medium skin and I think it's going to be a beautiful summer shade highlighter do we try the highlighter in here mm, that looks like a lovely little highlighter brush a14 this could be too dark what do we reckon it's very gold might be too gold yep too gold that's probably going to be needed if I have a tan. Look at that, I've toned it down, it's still shining. Actually, it's not too bad. I think I like the lighter one and the light one better. But if you wanted a gold, I don't think that's too bad. Let's leave it for now, and if I feel like changing it I will you can always add the light on top and as with the light palette she packs a punch guys packs a punch okay we're going to leave it there for now I'm going to go with my NARS soft matte concealer <clears throat> I've tried to put everything at arm's reach here Now I am just going to use the shadows straight from this dark deep palette seeing as I used all of the shades in the light palette when I did the dedicated video. Okay so I'm going to take the finishing powder radiant light which would be too dark to use over my face but for setting the eyes it will be perfect and that is out of the deeper of the two ambient lighting palettes the unlocked universe universe unlocked then we get to try these beauties now I'm going to have to go in very light handed because these are quite deep shades. Right, some other bits and pieces that I bought when I bought the Morphe um, brushes I got some other brushes too M167, M124 I got two of each just for really nice little packing brushes okay so they really are just nice little packing brushes and I thought they would be great for the shimmers etc now also in my look good feel better kit I got two other brushes gifted to me as well I got and this would have been good for the contour as well a cheek chiseler from Mecca Max and I've never heard of this makeup brand before. Eleanor Dawn makeup. Actually, that's quite a nice for a all over lid brush as well. Okie dokie, let's use some of these for the eyes. I am going to use a big fluffy brush in A11. And I'm going to go in with the transition shade. I hope it's going to work. Should I go in with that? No, I'm going to go in with my bronzer shade because it's lighter for a transition shade. They're just too deep for a transition shade. So I'm going to go in with the bronzer. And oh, what a lovely soft 
beautiful soft brush. Wow. Okay, and I'm just going to pop that all over the lid. And I am liking that colour too. Look at that highlight. And that's out of the deep palette. Goodness gracious. I seriously have not come across a more beautiful highlighter than these two in these face palettes. They just look so dewy. They're not they're not glittery and chunky. They just look luminous and glowy. They're just stunning. I'm gonna go in with a Zoeva 228 brush and see this crease colour. We're gonna try that. And I'm just gonna tap that in the outer corner. It's a very warm look today guys considering it's absolutely pelting down like the middle of winter out there although it's muggy it is muggy oh my goodness what a beautiful warm brown and I'm just taking that up into my socket line A beautiful warm mahogany brown stunning let's run that underneath I am not putting much pressure on my eye here at all it's super pigmented, bearing in mind it is a lot deeper than the light palette, but I am seriously not putting much pressure on the brush, on my eye. It's just sweeping across there beautifully. And I think paired with the light palette as well, is going to be an amazing combination it's all I'm going to need to take if I ever went away but <laughs> who am I kidding I take way too much when I go away I don't know if I will be getting away much very nice aerial A29 brush and I'm going to go in with outer corner which is a might be too warm but we'll see put that in the outer mm, bit too warm and rosy for me so I'll match it up and I know which shade I'm going to love I'm going to use my little Sephora colour switch little tinny thing and I'm going to go in with inner corner I've been dying to use inner corner mm, I don't think I colour switched it very well let's go on with another brush Oh my lord, what magic has Natasha Denona created in these palettes? I mean, I'm sorry, but this is giving any Pat McGrath uh, it's just, it's like liquid. That is just stunning. Those shades are just 
they're magical absolutely magical I am going to take my finger and take the highlighter and just pop that in the middle there I am so so impressed with these palettes I hope she does them again I really really do We'll go back in with our first blending brush, no product, and just blend that up. I'm going to go in with my Outer V brush and the Smoke Shade. And I'm going to start by just running that underneath. Taking it outwards. I am not unhappy that I picked this palette up. This is definitely more evening based than the light. The light is definitely a palette that I would utilize during the day, natural, beautiful, but oh my goodness, the smoke and the depth and the oh just beautiful back in with our blending shade blending brush not shade and I'm just going to soften all of that oh man these brushes are soft and I'm just going backwards and forwards with my brushes just to smoke everything out, blend everything. I'm not adding extra shadow. I am just blending. And we have got some smoke going on. Gorgeous. Let's go in a mat with a Marc Jacobs black liner. This is the high liner gel, and I know you can't get Marc Jacobs any longer. Hopefully, he'll come out soon with his new line. And I'm just doing the lash line. I'm going to pop some lashes on and I'll be right back to finish off with lips etc. Okay, lashes on. I'm just going to titivate the outer corner now that my lashes are on just by adding a little bit extra out here now that my lashes are on. This has really taken me a long time today, guys. I have been so slow. And to be fair, I don't even know how long my makeup will last on before I go and wash it off and climb back into bed. But it's been fun playing just taking a lot longer than normal go back in with the fluffy brush and I'm just going to lightly that's got the transition shade from here just to make sure this is definitely a smirky eye But oh my goodness, a beautiful smoky eye. I am in love with these palettes, I truly, truly am. Okay, a new Huda lip liner that I recently got is Pinky Brown. To be honest, I'm actually liking this foundation in combination with that powder I'm looking forward to trying that powder with different 
foundations. I just made a very crooked mouth. <laughs> now a lipstick that I got in the Look Good Feel Better box was a Chanel lipstick and this is 402 Adrian. And I just think it's going to be perfect with this look. Well, don't tell me it's going to be another high-end product I'm going to like. Mm. It's very hydrating. Rouge Coco. I think we are done. A little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. Let's put that underneath the eyes. I mean, the lash serum I have been using is incredible. And I'm pleased to know that I found an affordable one and one that is really working well so that when I lose my lashes I can go back to the lash serum that I have been using which is the flash lash and know that eventually I can get my lashes back but with false lashes and things <clears throat> we will be fine so this is a very sultry smoky look using some of those new products I cannot say enough about these Natasha Denona face palettes I do have to say the light is to die for for every day glad I have this as well it's definitely deeper I can still use it the blush is a beautiful color too and is going to be a great summer shade the highlighter I do not know what magic she has spun in this formula but it is just beautiful so even from the deep palette love the highlighter in this as well now I'm just going to quickly run through the brushes in this brush set because there are so many okay the face brushes there's this beautiful powder brush I would say this is a foundation brush actually which I'm really looking I'm going to try that that is the brush I used for my under eye powder that is the brush that I used for my bronzer that would be a really good contour brush as well here's another fluffy brush we could use that for just about anything very yeah it's not dense very fluffy so maybe for touching up powder on the face then that's the one I used for my highlighter quite liked that one and then the other eye brushes were this beautiful fluffy one that I used in my transition then there is a sort of shading brush there is a really small detail smudger brush which would be great for doing an under eye and the packing brush which I used for one of the shimmers and this is a dual ended one so that was a packing brush I used for the inner corner colour and then there's that which would be good for under the eye as well so really happy with those brushes they are so soft they are beautiful so very happy with that and of course you get the sponge as well all the other goodies I quite enjoyed so I hope you like that look guys thanks for joining me I'm sorry if it was a little bit 
fluffy but I'm a little bit out of sorts at the moment and um, yeah getting there so thanks for joining me I just want to say also thank you so much for all your support in the comments when I'm having a a bluesy day your support your love your well wishes is just incredible and I truly appreciate it and I'm actually making connections with a few women going through the same thing and I'm going to keep in touch I would love to know how you're getting on in your journey too it's it's all new and it's nice to share it with somebody else going through the same things and just sharing it with you guys for being so wonderful so I will keep in touch with you other ladies and seeing how you're going I've been a bit quiet in the last wee while due to just trying to look after myself so I will be in touch I hope you are doing well thank you everybody for your well wishes I love you all Christmas is just around the corner now that I'm not going away at Christmas I can when I feel up to it film a video and keep up to date so thanks for joining me guys thanks for being there for me I hope you enjoyed this I hope you enjoy it. I'm just loving some of these new products and I will play some more just love the Natasha Denona face palettes if I haven't said so 3,000 times already. I hope you've all had a beautiful and a wonderful day, guys. If you haven't already, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it. I hope you've all had a beautiful and a wonderful day, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. See ya. Bye.